I'll be explaining the two-dimensional motion. So now we have the horizontal projection and we have the projection with an angle. So let's start with the horizontal projection. Let's say we have a ball that's, let's say, on a desk and that it's prepared to fall. So when it starts to fall, let's say, which is the initial velocity, so it's going to be like called Vix. Now we have the height which it falls, okay, is called delta y, and we have Ay equals to 9.8 meter per second squared. So it should be like deacceleration, so it should be like negative 9.8, but then when you write in formula, we could just consider it as positive 9.8, because it's going down, so it's like deaccelerating. And then we have here the distance on the uh, ground is delta x. So now we have the formula for it, horizontal, delta x equals to vi x times the delta t, which is the time, and for the vertical, we have the... For the vertical, we have the delta y equals to half 9.8, which is just 4.9, times the delta t squared, which is the time. Now we have for the projection with an angle. So again, so we said that uh, this is the initial velocity that falls, this is the delta x, this is the acceleration, this is the delta y, which is the height. Okay, and this is when it falls on the ground, the distance, or the displacement. Now let's go on to the projection with an angle. So projection with an angle, let's say um, a man is uh, shooting with a bow arrow, let's say, and this is the VIX, which the arrow travels through in the air and then falls on the ground. So this would be the delta X and the height through which the arrow is flying is delta Y, okay? So now here we have the formulas, horizontal, we have delta X equals to VI cosine delta T, uh, cosine theta, which is the angle over here. And for the vertical, we have the delta y equals to the uh, vi sine delta t plus half 9.8 delta t squared. Okay. So now. Now let's go on to questions. Now, Fred throws a baseball 42 meter per second horizontally, so obviously we're going to be choosing this over here, the horizontal projection. From a height of 2 meters, how far will the ball travel? So let's take out the givens. Vix is given, which is 42 meter per second. The delta y, which is 2 meter, because I told you the height is the delta y, which so the 2m is the delta y. And they asked for how far, so we need to find the delta X. So we'll be using the formula for the horizontal, which is this one over here. And we'll all, we'll actually use both of them. We're going to use the delta x to find uh, the delta x, and then uh, we're going to also use the delta y. Here are the three given. So we're going to use only one of the equations for the horizontal. So we're just simply going to use here delta x equals to vi cosine theta delta t. So we go back, delta x equals 2. And let's say they gave us this time is in 3 seconds. Let's say in 3 seconds with in three seconds with initial velocity okay so this delta x equals to vi delta t which is three seconds 13 this will be 13 and then Let's make sure of everything. Yep, and that's the answer. 26. Let's make sure in the calculator. Cosine 38. No, it's not 13, it's 13 radical 3 times 3. So delta x would be. 39 radical 3 which is 67.5 meter so that's the delta x
let's say if that's the time given and they asked for how far which is here how far which is delta x and if they gave you the time and there are also other questions where you could solve by using delta y so here simply you just substitute just using this question uh, this equation and then you just substitute the givens that you have and that's the answer and thank you